kids. What it is, cool kids. We're gonna go to another exciting, adventurous place in our continuing series of Silver Coins Around the World. Oh yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready, Eva? Little Miss Eva. Here, come over here, Little Miss Eva. Let everybody see you. Do you want everybody to see you? Wouldn't want to be you? No? They do want to be you, huh? So that way they'd be getting the good pets, huh? Yeah, well, there you go. You got to make an appearance, okay? The audience expects it. I know you want to be over here by me, but that's just not in the cards, all right? I guess it's in the cards. All right. We are rambling on enough. We got to talk about the good stuff. So, something happened in this video. I had to do it in another video, and it all involves a mint. The same mint did this crap to me last time, so we're going to have to do it again. We're going to bring it back again. And actually, I want to I want to show you that one first. Yeah. So we had to, if you remember right, I had to show you a picture of the reverse, or obverse actually, I don't know which, probably reverse, of this coin. And the reason was, it was a Scottsdale Mint saw fit to put it in this special vacuum sealed holder. It's a special deluxe holder. Um, I don't take things out of their holders because uh, you never know if it's going to uh, diminish the value. Uh, a great example is the, uh, here I'll show you a great example actually, right here. If you took these out of their holder, right, well you lost a pretty big premium. Also rip Queen Elizabeth II. Anyway, back to my point. So, you don't take stuff out of the holder, even if it is from a private mint. That's my opinion, if you can avoid it. Then it's not to say, like the Franklin Mint stuff. We all know those holders aren't worth a damn. But, I still, I, I'm a stickler. I stick to this stuff if I can. So, with no further ado, this is the coin. This is, I got all written down here for you guys. Okay. The mintage on this was 25,000. That was the limit. I don't even know if they got to it. Sometimes they don't get to the limit. Like those kangaroos I just showed you. Some of those, the limit was 10,000. And the actual mintage was like four. Or it was 25,000 and the actual mintage was 2,500 or 2,800. I don't know. The point is, they only make as many as they sell. Okay. Now, in this case, I think they probably made 25000 because they still have some for sale on their website. See the, see the situation here? All right. So, anyway, if you guys want to get Cameroon off your list, this might be the coin for you. Um, it is a, an Imperial Dragon. I don't know what an Imperial dragon that looks Chinese has to do with Cameroon other than the fact that China is heavily invested in Cameroon and you know has a lot of influence there but other than that and I don't know what who designed this or why it was designed uh, it's okay it's a little busy and it can you tell where the heads or the tails are on this dragon I can but only so, it's not great. It's not great. I'll be honest with you. Not a fan. Not a fan. Is it better than um, that Burundi coin? I'm going to go like this when I say coin. The one that looked like a round? Slightly. But if you told me this was a round and not a coin, I'd believe you. Um, it's okay. It's not great. It's not great. I would definitely rather have the... Uh, the restrike uh, Chinese dragon based on the Chinese dollars and nice iconic design. <clears throat> you guys probably know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to pay that big money for it, but uh, you know, it's a better dragon. Uh, so anyway, let me show you what the other side of the coin looks like. 
See, I had it all set up for you. You can still buy these at Scottsdale Mint. Um, I'm not advertising for them. I'm just telling you. Uh, I paid $29.99 for mine. And uh, if you look here, uh, $29.99, uh, but you got to pay shipping, 500 or more ships for free, though. So keep that in mind. It says it right here. So it'd be $650. So if I were to buy this coin, uh, I'm looking at $34. If I just want what I got for $29.99 off uh, Scottsdale on the eBay. If you go to eBay, Scottsdale has a page. That's who I bought this coin from. Okay. Um, $29.99. So you skip that shipping, uh, but you know, you pay a dollar twenty more. If you were buying five hundred dollars worth of stuff, this would be the way to go though, because you're gonna get free shipping and the coin for $28.82. So there you go, there's that. Wow, I'm helping you out, Scottsdale Mint. And uh that's assuming anyone wants this thing. Uh, let's look at, you know, since we got this, uh, let's look at the other side of the coin. Uh, we can really zoom in here. So you see my my problem here, right? This It doesn't get much more Chinese than this. And I'm not, I'm not saying Chinese is bad. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this coin is supposed to be from Cameroon, right? So if we look at the reverse here, Cameroon is pretty clear, even though they do the French spelling, it's right there. And actually, I don't mind the, the reverse. The reverse is actually pretty cool. Um, I'll never see it because it's in the holder, but that's a different discussion. All right, let's talk about Cameroon. Okay, we'll get back to, yeah, the, the other look. We can look at Cthulhu instead of this. All right, so I will reiterate though, I'm not mad at Scottsdale Mint. I don't know if they designed this thing. I don't know if it's all on them, okay? And some of their stuff's really cool, okay? That coin uh, I got from them from uh, Dominica, it's cool with the hummingbird. I got no problem with that coin. So uh, they've done some others that I have no problem with. This design is whack. So there you go. Now let's talk about Cameroon though, because we just talked a little bit about it. China's investing heavily, um, but let's talk about it. Let's talk about Cameroon. Cameroon <laughs> is uh, on the Gulf of Guinea. It's uh, south of Nigeria. It is west of Central African Republic. Central African Republic is one of the few sea countries I don't have yet. However, I may have it, and uh, you know what? We might already have it. Uh, we'll see how this works out, because i got to get Togo and a couple other places. But I have a coin that can be one of eight different countries, depending on which one I need it to be. So we might already have that. Anyway, I digress. Um... Yonde, Yonde? It's the capital city. Um, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. The president is Paul Bia. The population is 26.55 million people. And it's part of the CFA. We talked about the CFA um, in that video of the PMG poor man's gold video the shout out check it out we talk all about it there i made it yesterday and you can uh, look up poor man's gold awesome channel well worth uh, looking at if you like constitutional coinage and such um yeah it's uh unitarian dominant party uh Looks like a totalitarian state. I mean, wouldn't be the first over there. Um, going to guess it's poor. Let's double check. Let's let's not guess here. Let's let's be sure. So the 
country's named after the Wari River, the Portuguese name for that river. All right, I'm going to imagine this is one of the uh, colonies stolen by the British in their war against the Portuguese, but that's just a guess. And then Germany held it from 1884 to 1916, so maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. French and British rule was later after Germany fell in World War I. So it was uh, Portuguese, German, French, British, and independence was in 1960. And Cameroon is uh, viewed as rife with corruption at all levels of government. Um, let's see. It's anti-corruption acts haven't worked. And yeah, okay, so corrupt. The only legal party was uh, the Cameroon's People's Democratic Movement. Uh, their opposition was the Social Democratic Front. Boy, that sounds... Doesn't that sound delightful? Delightful. Okay. And... Uh, the elections have been contended to be unfair. The human rights organizations allege the government suppresses the freedom of freedoms of the opposition groups by preventing demonstrations, disrupting meetings, and arresting. Wow. Sound like anyone? <laughs> All right. Well, President Bia shut down the internet for 94 days. Well, you wouldn't want people talking on the internet in ways you don't like, no? <laughs> Well, anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about, uh, well, they don't treat criminals well. Okay. Well, you know, we expect that. We kind of expect all that. Let's talk about the economy. Uh, their GDP, their average uh, per person, per capita was $3,700. So that would be your average income adjusted for, you know, their currency. Uh, $3,700 a year. Their major export markets include uh, Netherlands, France, China, Italy, Algeria, and Malaysia. And they, they are growing at 4% per year. So that's, that's actually really, really strong. Yep. Unemployment rate is 3.38%. So they're growing. They're, they're a growing economy. Um, and like I said, China's been investing heavily over there. They see something there they like. And uh, they're pretty smart cats in China. You know, a lot of people talk smack about China. China ain't dumb, man. So if they're putting money in there, they see something worthwhile there. Um, natural resources and such, I'm sure. But, you know, they, they made the deals with the, the people they want in power, so, you know, uh, they're playing 4D chess right now, it seems, anyway, like, share, subscribe, enjoy, um, the videos that I make, or don't, tell me why they're bad in the comments, if they're bad, I totally respect that, um, I'm just trying to get a collection of silver coins from every nation on earth, that's what you're watching in Cameroon, is in the book. I hope you find, uh, yeah, your own uh, fun hobby that gets you through. Um, there's a good chance, I'm going to cut this off pretty quick, but there's a good chance we're going to have a very interesting winner, I think. I think there's a lot of factors playing in, uh, economic and uh, logistical that are going to make this a winner to remember. 
especially in uh, the colder parts of the world, so to speak. We'll see how it goes. I hope I'm wrong. I don't think I am. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how this plays out, guys. It could be ugly. Be ready to help people. That's what I'll say. You, you know, we all sit here and talk a good game. You be ready to help people, okay? If they need it. That's all I'll say. All right. No matter who they are. I Listen, I may not agree with you, but I'm not going to sit there and let you starve to death, okay? I don't care who you are. You can be my worst enemy. That's Well, unless, I mean, they're within reason. If you're actively trying to kill me, that's a different animal. All right. Take care. Happy thoughts.